हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइज थ्री एफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव से अ फादर इज थ्री टाइम्स एस ओल्ड एस हिज सन इन ट्वेल्व इयर्स टाइम ही विल बी ट्वाइस ही विल बी ट्वाइस एस हिज सन फाइंड द प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ फादर एंड द सन they are asking you to find out the present age of father and the son so this time a problem it is called your age problem this is called what age problem so this is called your age problem so let us see how to start this problem if they have asked you to find out the present age present age of father and the son they have asked you to find out the present age of father and the son so you start with the present age solution let the present age of father be x years let the present age of father be x years and the present age of son and the present age of son and the present age of son be y years now we'll try to our aim is to find out what is x what is y so we'll try to form the equation now if you look at the question what they have said our father is three times as old as his son so they have said that father is three times as old as his son so according to question what is going to happen what is the age of the father x so the age of the father will be three times they have said three times the age of the son so your x will be how much x is equal to 3y because they have said three times as old as his son so let us do the simplification x Minus three y is equal to zero. That is your equation number one. So you have already got your equation number one. Now we'll be trying to form one more equation so that it can be solved. So for that, let us look at the second part. What they have said in twelve years time. They said in twelve years time. That means after twelve years, what is going to happen? Let's see. In twelve years. in 12 years time that means after 12 years what will be the father's age now suppose the father is 30 years after 12 years it will be 42 so how you will get 42 x plus 12 that is how you have to do so in 12 years time what will be the father's age your father's age will be how much it will be x plus 12 x plus 12 will be the father's age then similarly what will be the son's age your son's age will be how much it will become y plus 12 your son's age your son's age will be how much y plus 12 years your son's age will be y plus 12 years that means after 12 years so we have done till here now let's try to form the equation the what he is telling uh he will be twice as old as his son that means the father will be twice as old as his son what is the age of the father x plus 12 so x plus 12 is equal to how much they say twice as old as his son so two times y plus 12 two times y plus 12 12 so let us simplify this let us simplify this and try to get one more linear equation so let us see what is going to happen next this implies x plus 12 is equal to how much your x plus 12 is equal to 2 into y is 21 plus 2 into 12 2 into 12 will be 24 so you got 24 now all those terms containing x and y you bring to the left hand side and the terms containing 
uh, and the terms which is your constant term. All those constant terms you take it to the right hand side. So what is going to happen? x minus 2y is equal to how much? 24 minus 12. So you do the simplification x. x minus 2y is equal to 12. So you got your equation number 2. So you have form equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now next, what you will be doing? You will be solving your equation 1 and equation 2 by using your elimination method. So let us solve equation 1 and equation 2 by using your elimination method. Then we can find out the value of x and the value of y. So you write it down solving equation number 1 and equation number 2. We get, let us try to solve this two equations. So what is equation number 1? Your equation number 1 is x minus 3y is equal to 0 x minus 3y is equal to 0. That is your equation number 1. And what is your equation number 2? x minus 2y is equal to 12. That is your equation number 2. Now, we'll try to solve this. We have already done in the last classes how to solve this two linear equation. So, it is very easy. If you look at the coefficient of x, it is 1. If you look at the coefficient of x here, it is 1. So directly you can subtract it. You do subtraction here. When you do subtraction here, there will be a change of sign. So here it is plus means this will become minus. Here it will become plus and here it will become minus. So x minus x. x minus x is 0 so you can cancel it that minus 3y plus 2y so it will become minus y minus y is equal to minus 12 minus minus cancel so what is the value of y you got the value of y is equal to how much y is equal to 12 so next what you will be doing you put y is equal to 12 in equation number 1 or you can even put in equation number 2 to find out your x so let's see we can put in equation number one, no problem. So putting, putting the value of y, y equal to 12 in equation number one, we get, so when you substitute this value in equation number one, what is your equation number one? x minus 3y is equal to 0. This is your equation number one. So you substitute your y equal to 12. So it will become how much? This implies x minus 3 into 12 is equal to 0. x minus 3 into 12 is equal to 0. You simplify it to get the value of x. So x minus 36 is equal to 0. So what is your x? x is equal to 36. So you got the value of x as 36 and the value of y as 12. So we can write down the conclusion of this problem. So you write it down, hence the present age, hence the present age of father. Hence the present age of father is how much x? Okay, and what is the value of x? 36. So it will become 36 years. That is the present age of father and the present age of son. And the present age of son is how much? Y, what is the value of y? Y is 12. So this is the required answer. Thank you.